What is up gamers? In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to beat man-to-man -man coverage out of the pistol playbook. And this uh, play comes to us from the weak twins. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is the dig wheel. Uh, it's probably the better play of, uh, of out of the pistol two running back sets that beat man-to-man -man coverage. And uh, we're going to make a couple adjustments to this play. Um, what we like to do with this is we like to put Vernon Davis on a zig pattern. We like to put uh, Michael James on a swing pass to the right side of the screen. And then we're going to take Anquan Bolden. We can either leave him on that in route or we can put him on a drag. And our first read on, the, on this is the uh, wheel route to the right. It's going to have really good separation against uh, man coverage. The, the route to, uh, by putting Bolden on the drag, we're going to create a natural pick uh, for Crabtree to get a space against man coverage. We're not going to have to click onto it. It's going to be open against man. Second thing that we're going to read, second read on this play, is the zig route to Vernon Davis. So we're, we're going to look left, not there. We're going to come back to the right side, and typically it'll beat man-to-man -man coverage. So there's two man beaters. And then our third read on this is the drag coming across the middle. And typically it'll be, with the pass lead up, we can use that technique we showed in the beginning of the year, how to pass lead drags against man coverage. And then um, the right two routes are mainly for a zone. It's a little screen to LaMichael James, and, and you can use his speed to get to the edge. Sometimes it works against man. Very rarely will I ever call this play against man. When I like this play, uh, what I like, or excuse me, not this play, that route, I will ever rarely get to it. But against zone or zone blitzes, this route, or uh, this combination of routes work really well. Uh, you break one tackle, you could be off to the races. I mean, with the Michael James's agility and speed and, and all the things he does well, um, you know, we're able to maybe go to something like a, a zone blitz. Here, let's see if I can find one. Um, here's one. So if they do zone blitz us, maybe Crabtree's route's covered. The drag will be open, sure. But if we see that they're in a zone blitz, you can get to the edge with Michael James, maybe make a juke or something. But it's a 20-yard gain against a zone blitz. So if they're not disciplined, then they're going to be in trouble uh, with this, with these route combinations we're doing. So I really like this play uh, overall as a man beater. Um, and then again, if you have, like I said, Michael James is just so good. Um, let's go over some of our quick audibles. Uh, our quick audible up is the PA bubble. This is used uh, just like earlier. I mean, this will beat man. You see. But it's not, he doesn't get super good separation. So this is primarily used if they start setting up pressure. So they maybe move him inside like this. And they have that little void open in their defense. This is really, really good. Because he's just going to get to the outside. And you're just going to go straight forward once you catch the ball. And for some reason, they're not going to tackle him um, f for whatever reason. I don't know. But again, like say they base the line or something. And, 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 and they're leaving the slot open. And they're not. There's not. If there's nobody over the top of him. Snap! Throw the PA bubble, and it's just it's just open for quick five, ten yard bursts. Even if they're in a cover two, uh, I'm gonna try to find a cover two with a flat zone here. Here's one, and and they base align it. The PA bubble, it's still gonna get you. See, you still get that block. You still get that seal. So if they're not over the top of that route, it's gonna go for a quick ten yards. That's why I like to have it in here. Um, and then my L1 audible is a smash corner. This is basically I just put bolded on a smoke screen, and I put gore on a streak, and I run the smash concept. I mean that's all I do. My first read is the Michael James. Um, if you you've got to work on the timing a little bit on this on that route. Um, let me see here if I can show you. And I, I want to get gore on a streak to the right side, so I guess I can't put him on a streak. I'll just put him on a block and release pattern. But the Michael James's route when he cuts back to the inside, it it can kind of get some. Separation against man. Uh, you guys just need to experiment with it a little bit. It, it's very good. Uh, I, you just have to work on your timing skill uh, from it. Because if you try to snap throw it like that, which a lot of people used to be able to do in this game, you're not going to be able to do it this year. So just understand that. You're going to have to wait till he uh, kind of lights up, and then you can throw him the ball. Second read on this play is the smash concept to the right si or to the left side of the screen. Uh, so it's a double read between Bolton and Crabtree. Typically, Crabtree will be open. If Crabtree gets pressed, though, you saw there he got pressed. I immediately go back to the tight end, and sometimes I'll even put the tight end on Zig just because I know that beats man, and it's quicker for me. But James, and then saw that Crabtree got pressed, so I'm gonna go right to my tight end here and and hit him. 
And then here we're going to look at a situation we may not get press, so we'll back off the coverage and show you what happens if everything works out properly. This is really actually a better play for zone, but you see this corner route should beat man-to-man -man, uh, if they're in two men under. So we have two or three options against man, and then if they're in zone, which is where this uh, really comes in handy, uh, they're in maybe a, uh, a cover two sink. This is the smash play that really torches uh, cover two, I believe. You're just going to pass lead crab tree to the left, and it's going to get really good space and against the cover two sink. So that's what I like to do out of this formation. And then lastly, a run I like to mix in is the F, le F, le F read option. And you're just going to read that defender. Um, it's pretty simple. It's nothing too crazy. Remember, this is primarily a passing formation. Um, we have other formations we like to use for running. Uh, but this is still a, a, a very viable run, especially if they if they get lazy and they start and they start forgetting about Kaepernick. Kaepernick, and you see that block that Michael James is going to get. He's going to slip the first guy and go to the second guy and chip them both just enough for Kaepernick to get to the edge. So that's what I really like about this. And if they're like sending pressure or whatever, and they again they forget about Cap, you're going to get to that edge, and the Michael James is just going to give you that one block you need to really spring you. And that's what I like about this being a twin set. We can really take advantage of hitting them left with the pass, hitting them right with the run, and then starting to, to change it up every now and then and hitting them with whatever. So um, this is a really good formation, guys. It's what I like to use to beat man-to-man -man coverage. If you guys have any questions or need further information about this formation, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you guys could do me a big favor and share this video on Twitter, I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our base zone beater.